welcome to New York City. Uh, before I get into the details of what I'm doing right back in one of the best cities in the world, uh, I am going to let you guys know Uber is still amazing here. All you got to do is request this as you come out of uh, Terminal 8, uh, get them to come pick you up right here at like Terminal C and get your day going. I am in a crazy rush. So my flight landed at 11.15 and I have to get to the Yankees game which starts at 1 o'clock. So let's hope I can make it into the city. Now mind you, Uber is not the most economical option. Taxis aren't either to get into um, New York City proper. But uh, when you don't have that much time, a 20 minute ride is, ugh, is about as good as you're gonna get. So you know the times between the airports if you're in a car in a taxi, JFK is gonna be about 40 minutes. I'm in a car now with no traffic and it is, it's about 40 minutes. And uh, EWR is normally like 25, 25, 30 minutes. I normally take the uh, the train into Penn Station, especially when I'm staying somewhere in Manhattan or Chelsea, uh, kind of spread out from there. Because, uh, for example, Chelsea is maybe like a five minute walk from Penn Station. But um, uh, today, because I was in such a rush, I had to take a car, and especially coming all the way out from uh, JFK. The, the easily the um, most inexpensive way to get into the city is the train, but the most uh, the most efficient is always going to be an Uber or a taxi. Um, I personally prefer. Uh, Ubers now because um, the apps on my phone, my credit card system, everything is so smooth and easy and I can easily keep track of it. So it is about 11.51 a.m. Uh, the New York Yankees game starts at uh, 1 p.m. So I will definitely not make the beginning of the game, but hopefully I'm there before the third or the fourth inning and uh, we can definitely catch uh, a, a few innings of really good baseball especially before this rain comes down. Apparently, it's supposed to be a tropical storm tomorrow, which is the day I was supposed to catch the game, but they're, they're thinking about proactively canceling the game tomorrow because the storm is supposed to be so bad, and we definitely wanted to get here and document the uh, the Yankees culinary experience. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, cross our fingers and hope that happens. And once I get to the hotel, I'm going to fill you guys in on exactly what I'm doing here for the next four days with New York City Go. All right, guys, so I finally made it to my hotel room. I've got about 45 minutes to get to the game, so I'm going to hop in the shower real quick and get changed and run out of this room. By the way, this is a fantastic hotel. I'm at the Melia, like right in the middle of Chelsea. Let me show you guys. Absolutely beautiful. Let me show you all these views. What I'm saying, this is like the most New York City view that I've ever had staying in New York City. I mean, my goodness, absolutely beautiful. All right, so what am I doing in New York City, aside from it being one of the most amazing cities in the world? I'm working with an organization, uh, New York City Go, which is one of the tourism organizations here in New York City to promote the reopen of New York City to tourism. Uh, as you guys may already know, a few months ago, uh, everything started to reopen uh, here in New York City. Although things are a little bit complicated uh, when it comes to uh, vaccine passports and what is and what isn't open during COVID, I'm here to show you guys what you can do now. Uh, and we're going to especially focus on sports, which is why I'm about to go see the, the Yankees game. We're going to focus on food, which I'm, I'm doing an amazing collaboration tomorrow at Chelsea Market. And then the culture. You guys know I love me some museums, so we're definitely going to be going to the museums uh, Monday, Tuesday, and then I fly out of here on Wednesday, unfortunately. So this is the end of my U.S. trip. Um, you guys know I've been here. Um, it'll be a month next week, but what better way to kind of close this thing out? So let me go ahead and get dressed, and I'll see you guys at the Yankees. I, I got to be honest. It feels so damn good to be walking back around New York City right now. It is people everywhere. Uh, shops are open. Music is coming out of everywhere. It's an absolutely fantastic feeling to be here. Also, I keep catching myself looking up at all these tall buildings again. And you really forget how big these buildings are here in New York. So look at that beauty right there. Oh, God, New York City, man. There's no place in the world like it. A lot of places, you guys always know I say Bangkok is like the New York City of Asia, but even Bangkok, it's just, it's just a different thing. New York is just something special. And even though uh, New York City is relatively open, there's a lot of restrictions that are being put in place. Uh, like right now, just walking around, you don't see a lot of people actually wearing masks. Inside the, uh, the businesses, you definitely are going to be seeing those passport passes and verification starting to kick in. Sorry, I'm trying to not die walking around these streets in New York. But um, yeah, and, and with the New York City Go Pass that I'll be using uh, starting tomorrow, I'm going to have to look up specifically what is and isn't open. 
because a lot of the indoor things are not open yet. anywhere indoors like a lot of cities around the world uh, you have to wear your mask any kind of uh, any kind of public transportation any kind of museums or government building so yeah uh, on a train you gotta wear this mask shout out and respect to New York City for having a rapid COVID testing right here beautiful beautiful right here outside of New York Yankee Stadium all right here's a quick update this is gonna be uh, the rest of these videos are gonna be a little bit awkward because they made me take off my uh, basically my handle and my stick, these are not allowed in there. They almost made me like leave it outside. It's like a hundred and fifty dollar stick. So if you have like an expensive remote for your camera, you cannot bring it in the Yankee Stadium. Also, you don't actually need masks inside Yankee Stadium. Uh, shout out to New York City because every single New Yorker I saw on the subway was wearing a mask. Nobody was arguing, nobody was complaining. Everybody had it on. But here, I specifically asked security in Yankee Stadium, you do not need to wear a mask. It's a Major League Baseball game, and the Yankees are the team of New York. So, my goodness, these are very on top. It should be pretty good, though. So I had to find a concealed place to explain this. Okay, uh, American baseball is easily my favorite sport to watch. Absolutely adore it. I used to work for the Cleveland Indians, which is my home team. Which means I'm supposed to absolutely hate the New York Yankees because they are also an American League team. However, they play in Minnesota, Minnesota Twins, who is a division rival of ours, who I hate by far more. So today, we're rooting for the Yankees in every single way. Okay, pleasant surprise from New York City Go. They got me a Delta Sweet Level. This is an Italian sausage. And it usually comes on this bigger roll, so if you fill that bad boy up with condiments, absolutely perfect. This is an absolute nightmare trying to do this without the, uh, the remote controller to, to sell me sick. Mmm. Mmm. Not oh, good. There's nothing like an Italian sausage at a baseball game. This here is the bacon on a stick, but oh, yeah, man, it's just egg pork on pork. Look at that. Oh, let me get in here. Look at this, baby. You can't get better than bacon on the set. Mmm. Tastes like America. There is the first off, these are fantastic seats. Like, absolutely. Look at this seat. And we just had absolutely insane Indian five runs. Fantastic. Uh, Mike Judge, uh, Giancarlo Esposito, fantastic. But uh, yeah, it's something about the energy at Major League Baseball games. I grew up working for the Cleveland Indians all through high school. So I've I've been watching baseball since I was a little kid, and it's so good to be back here. I haven't been to a baseball game in 15, 16 years, maybe? Oh man, it is absolutely nice to be back. Let's look at the Delta Sky 360 Sweeps. Okay. Beautiful. This is real sad. I can't expose out there for Just give you guys a look at what's going on. Hey! <laughs> Hey! <laughs> uh, 
Sorry about the stabilization on this, guys. I'm a hand carrying because those uh, selfie sticks they call are not allowed here. Also, coming over here, uh, let me fast forward to the future. Uh, the food options. This is just display. Uh, we're going to get up on this. We got the pretzels. Uh, I, I, hear, I hear him sharpening something. I, oh, he's got the LaBelle's sandwich. Look at that. Look at beautiful. Let's get on the head. Two, three stretch, you're out. Woo! Uh, okay, so this is called the seven inning stretch. Basically, it's where people get up, uh, they go, they go around, get some beers, get some food or whatever. But uh, basically, it's just a kind of relaxed period to play games and interact with crowds. But it's like uh, this is probably the, the worst time to get food and drinks. Period. Do not like try to get food and drinks. So the seventh in the stretch, just don't do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So unfortunately, uh, we had to reschedule this game. I was supposed to come uh, to the game tomorrow, and a cousin, one of my cousins, was actually going to come with me. Uh, but unfortunately, there's a, a tropical storm coming in to, tonight, later on tonight, and tomorrow's game is probably going to get rained out. My cousin could get off work in time to come with me. So normally. Uh, when it comes to baseball games, especially Major League Baseball games and major market teams, uh, we have a uh, major market and small market teams. Like my team, the Cleveland Indians, will be considered a small market team. The Yankees are 100% a major market team. The, I say like the Yankees, the Dodgers, uh, the Mets, of course, because they're also in New York, uh, San Francisco, kind of, but like these are major market teams, big teams, right? So you get, uh, I would say, the best times to get food and drink, right? It's before the game around the fourth inning, around the eighth inning, and then at the end. And it's easier when you have another person with you or another couple of people with you, so you could guys, you could take turns standing in line and somebody can actually see the game. Beautiful. All right, it's a $20 sandwich, boss. I need this to be good. I need you to cut this good for me. Beautiful. Put that juice sauce in there. You guys see that sauce right here? It's beef juice. Fantastic. With some onions and horseradish sauce. I gotta be honest, this is um, this is one of the most expensive things I've ever bought at a stadium. And but everybody's claiming this is the best, like one of the best steak sandwiches in New York City, and it's at a baseball stadium. So let me go ahead and just start. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start just right out with that beef. Yep. 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 That's probably the best steak sandwich I've ever had. Oh my God. No exaggeration. The Jew, it, it, it's either the Jew or the um, the crust they put on it. It's a little bit peppery, a little bit chilly, but it's tender. And and, and, then, and it's perfectly seasoned. The spice is amazing. The onions give it that extra little, that extra little um, acidity. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, it's hard to talk. And what I like about this is a lot of places they'll put um, they'll put cheese, like provolone cheese or mozzarella cheese. But this is steak, bread, onion, and sauce. That's it. That's how good this is. You don't need anything else. Fantastic. In Yankee Stadium. You gotta get a pinch by pills, though. That's great, just hit a home run. Home run, that's great. Little town kid. First homer. Oh, that exposure was off a little bit, sorry about that. But I really don't want to undersell how good this Pilsner is. Um, I am a big Stella Artois fan, massive, this is like my favorite beer. This is, this might be a close second. Wow, this is, a, this, this pitch like Pilsner is really, really good, man. Really impressed. Alright guys. 
New York wins. Good work. Everybody's headed home. Guys, what a what a fun time, man! Hold on, let me get get back to the stadium. What a fantastic time here in the stadium! Amazing food, wonderful food. I couldn't get to everything because so much to eat, but absolutely wonderful time. It's great to be back. New York City, go! This is going to be an amazing day.